in this video, we'll create this awesome interactive Excel dashboard in just 15 minutes. We will follow the four core steps of creating a dashboard. First, we will build the overall structure of the dashboard by removing all of the grid lines. Then we'll choose a color for our base and start adding shapes. To make the shape look better on the dashboard, I like to add a shadow on it. Then we'll label three shapes as slicers. Here we will add filters by month, country, and product. Let's also label our charts, matrices, and of course, our dashboard title. Now that we have finished the first step, the second step is to work on the different charts and visuals. First, let's work on the actual versus target sales per month. Here, we will learn how to create a pivot chart. So let's select all data and click insert pivot table. Then we will set up our pivot table with monthly actual sales and target sales. Now we'll insert a chart and choose combo chart where the actual sales is the clustered column while the target sales is a line. Then we'll cut and paste our chart to the dashboard tab. The second chart is units sold per month. We'll just copy the pivot table from earlier. Let's just remove the values from earlier, then set up the pivot table for monthly units sold. Then we'll insert a line chart for this one and place it on the dashboard tab. Now we'll work on the chart for top 5 products. This is more advanced compared to normal charts. So first, let's set up the pivot table for units sold per product. Then we'll insert a bar chart. Notice that there are six bars being shown on the chart initially. And we want to show the top five products only. So let's click on value filters and then choose the option top 10. Here we can choose to show the top or bottom values. In this case, let's show top five. And now that we have the top 5 products, we can also sort it from smallest to largest and vice versa. Then we'll cut and paste our chart to the dashboard tab. Now we'll work on our visuals for the matrices, sales, profit, and unit sold. We'll copy the pivot table from earlier and remove the filter. Then we'll set up the values for total sales, total profit, and total units sold.
will show the matrices on the dashboard using a text box. Now, this is a common error that you might encounter. This is because we can't link a text box directly to a pivot table. What I do is, I copy the pivot table first and paste it as values. Then, I link the text box. Note that these are just values. So we have to link it back to the pivot table. Finally, we can now add the visuals for percentage of how much the matrices achieved their target. Here, we will learn a more advanced function of pivot table, the calculated field. First, we'll work on the sales and its target. So, the percentage of target achieved is equal to sales divided by the target sales. Then, for chart purposes, we'll also get the opposite percentage of target not achieved, which is equal to 1 minus percentage target achieved. Now, we'll insert a pie chart, then paste it on the dashboard tab. Then we'll just do the same to get the percentages for profit and units sold. Now that we have the dashboard structure and the visuals, we just need to customize them. You can customize your dashboard depending on what you like on the color, font size, etc.
will hide all of the unnecessary field buttons from our chart to make it look less crowded. We'll also remove all the shape outlines and background color to make our dashboard look more clean. We can also customize the number format of our matrices, like we can add comma, add a dollar sign, etc. On our charts, we can also customize the gap width of our bars and add markers on our lines. I want to show you the difference between a normal line chart versus a smoothened line chart and how to customize it. We are now down to the last step of our dashboard, slicers. If you like this video, please consider hitting like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. We'll add slicers for month, country, and product. So let's head over to the Pivot Tables tab and click on any Pivot Table. Click Insert Slicer and choose Month, Country, and Product. Then cut and paste the slicers to the dashboard tab. Now notice that when we click on the slicers, only one chart updates. All of the other charts remain the same. We will fix this by connecting our slicers to all of the charts using the report connections. Now all our charts are updated.
and we are done thank you so much and i hope that this video helped you create your dashboard let me know in the comment section